Hey friends of Keyclock, nice to see you again. This is Das Nico. In this short video, I want to show you the update email feature in Keycloak where a user has to confirm the new entered email address before it's going to be activated. So let's start. To be able to use this update email feature in Keycloak, you have to start your, user, uh, your server with the enabled preview feature update email. So um, this feature is still a preview and how you enable preview features, this is being covered in the Keycloak guide on the Keycloak.org website, enabling and disabling features. So we have the section preview features and if you scroll down to the preview features, you see the update email action as a preview feature and um, in the relevant options section, you see how you configure the features to be started while you start your Keycloak server. I've done this and I have the update email uh, feature uh, enabled and I can use it. So then switching to my desired realm and in my realm, I then get a required action named update email. This has to be enabled to be able to use the feature. So nothing else is required in the Keycloak admin section to enable it. Uh, we can switch directly to the account console, for example go um, to the personal info, logging in as our user, and um, we have the page with the personal information. And um, after um, the email address field, we have um, the link update email. So if we click on update emails, we can't uh, directly edit the email address uh, at the field. So we have to click on update email, then we get presented with a form to enter our new email address. We can uh, tell, for example, it's uh, dasnico at n-k.de and submit all this and we get a message that a confirmation mail uh, was sent to uh, the new email address. And uh, then we can switch to our mail program, our mail application, and we see there's an email address from uh, the Keycloak server where we uh, verify your new email. There's a link with an action uh, token in it. Uh, containing the new email address and uh, this will be set when we click on it. That's what we do now. Um, clicking on the link, we go back to the browser and uh, get a message the email was updated and if we go back to the application, open the personal info page again, we see that the email address was updated to desnico at n-k.de. So that's quite a nice feature to update the email and to prevent some typos because the new email address will only be, only be activated uh, when the user clicks on the link. The new email address won't be um, stored anywhere, it's just contained in the token and if the token will be activated by clicking on the link, the new email address will be set. And so, um, Try it out on your own, uh, activate the feature and uh, have fun with it. If you like this video, as always, give me some thumbs up and uh, if you're not already done so, subscribe to this channel to get further information about Keycloak, um, future videos, turn on the bell, all this stuff and um, see you soon. Have a good time. Bye bye.